Hello my dear friends, welcome to Fortron Academy. My name is Harshwats and today we will be covering about editing columns in Power BI. Power BI is a business analytical tool which help you in understanding your data set through various visualization process in your data models. Now let us go further and talk about the points to be discussed in this video. So this video will be covered in four points. In the first point we will talk about how to delete the specific column. In the second point we will tell you how to navigate through columns. In the third point we will tell you how to delete a set of column from data. In the fourth point we will tell you how to rename the column name. So this is the point we will cover in this video. Now let's go to the Power BI and talk about all these points in detail. So we are in Power BI desktop in a Power Query editor function. So if you want to know more about Power Query editor function, you can look into my previous videos and will know more into detail about Power Query editor. Now let's get back to the question of this video that how do we manage column in our data set. So first the question arises what is column. Column is a data which has a horizontal data set. So this is one column, this is another column, this is another column. So column has a data set in a horizontal way. So this is the whole column. If log id you will see this is a whole column. So what is the difference between row and column. So column is horizontal while row is vertical. So this is row, this is column. Now the question is how do we manage it? First of all, we have to look what we have to manage. What are the things that we don't want in our columns? What we want to remove? So these are the things that we want to manage. So we have to go through our data and look for the things that we don't want in our column. So like this is the age group start column, we do not want this because the location, time, age group is there, age group start is not required. So we want to delete this column. So there are always more than one functionality that you can use for deleting the column. So most instinctive approach is you will go into the home ribbon and will go into the manage column into the manage column you will see a remove column option in the upper part when you click the column will be deleted and then i click on the lower part i will see two options for removing column in the first option when i click on i will see a dialog box that says remove the currently selected column from this table in the second when i click i will see what it option do that it remove all column from this table except the currently selected one yes right if i want to delete the all column and just require this to stick then i will use this option like this if i click on remove other column the only group that left is what i have selected now how to undo it it is very easy get into the query settings in the applied steps you just have to cross the last step you did so it will undo the process now i want to delete the age group start so how to do that it is very easy get into the remove column in a home ribbon and just click the remove column because it will delete the selected column only so our selected column is deleted you can see in the applied step the selected column is deleted so this is the thing if you know which column you want to delete but there are always question or there are always things in your data set if you have more than 50 60 columns if you want to delete any specific column or if you want to delete a cluster of column how to do that so that is also possible in the home ribbon you will go into the choose column into the choose column there are two options first choose column which show in a dialog box keep or remove column from this table in the second part you will see go to a column so how the go to a column works select the column that you would like to go in the query editor preview if i click on it i will see the whole columns that are available in our data set if i want to go into the pop total i don't have to navigate through our data set i just click on it and i will be directly transferred to that column or otherwise i will navigate it through my keys right or left keys 
through which I can easily navigate through my data but it is very impossible or very difficult if our data set is too large. So now let's get back to the choose column again and if I want to remove a cluster or set of column how to do that then you have to go to the choose columns then when you click on choose column the option opens up and shows this choose column dialog box in which all those selected are present in our column and if I unselect something it will be removed from my data set so if I click on OK you will see if I click on it you will see that thing is removed from my data set in applied step you can see the removed other column is there so this is how the data looks now. Now the question arises how to rename this column because certainly if you see this is not a location this is a country I want to rename this column name. How to do that? There are always more than one options so I will tell you two options how to rename it. Firstly when you click on a column name just right click on it. You will see a rename option. Just click on it. Now you can write location id then enter this is how you can rename your column name or secondly this is the first how you rename the column secondly you just have to double click on the column name i want to give it country then enter you can see your column name will be changed then again this is not a time this is year just double click on it year this is age group then enter population male now let's go further Then enter the population total. So this is how you will rename your column name. I hope I have covered most of the part of editing columns. So with this point I am going to end this video and I hope your queries got clear. If not kindly write us in comment section. We will surely get back to you and if this video helped you in any way kindly drop us a like and don't forget to subscribe our channel for amazing videos in future. Till then have a good and amazing day.